Lau here. Welcome back to the channel or if you're new here, hi, I'm Lau. I'm uh, doing lots of vintage toy content here on the channel, especially My Little Pony, but some others as well. I'm also a cosplayer. Um, I'm a Disney fan, so lots of different stuff, but mostly the toy content is like taking over my channel here. And um, yeah, and today we're doing another toy unboxing, vintage toy unboxing. Um, I'm not calling it like pony mail or pony unboxing because there, there's more other things than ponies in these, all of these uh, mailers here, etc. Um, but there is a little bit of uh, My Little Pony and there are plenty of other boxes waiting over there with ponies. So I like separated it a little bit, but um, I didn't like strictly separate it because in some of these boxes there are like other toy lines and then also pony and then I show it all in this haul. So um, yeah, let's get started. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages here um, because I, I know that in some of those boxes are lots of like small accessory parts etc so it may, might take a while until we have sorted out everything but you are, already know that from my channel that uh, my videos aren't the shortest and I try to give my best to not get even longer and longer and longer so that's why I separated the, the um, unboxing now to different things not only um, to like um, make one giant one that's like two hours long or so so that's why there are not so many ponies in here but let's start here as always I have already like uh, cut them open so I'm not struggling with uh, the, the opening of the boxes and I had a little peek in there um, because so I know what it is you know but yeah okay Let's have a look in here. Oh. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. And I, and I already see that like the seller put in some like a little bit of an extra. And the first thing I'm pulling out of the box is a pony. So I was lying and there's pony stuff in here, but not so many. And the truth is. I just stumbled um, upon this pony while searching for a completely different toy line because yeah that's what I do sometimes I'm searching for other toy lines than my little pony on all of the uh, used sites and I was actually searching for cherry Mary muffin and uh, there was this one offer which just said uh, cherry Mary muffin uh, and her horse or something like that and I mean Terry Mary Muffin doesn't have a horse, it was this pony. Um, but it's, oh my goodness, it's such a nice uh, pink lot and uh, I think the price was okay. Um, let's start with her and oh my goodness, that's amazing. I didn't buy this but this is a like a key holder thing from like Mini Mouse, also definitely vintage. Oh, I will use this for sure. A hundred percent, I will use this. This is so gorgeous. Uh, anyways, I wanted to start with the pony. This is a strawberry surprise. I don't know, I always think it's strawberry milk, uh, but that's what her cutie mark shows. Milk and strawberries, or cream, but what I think it's actually milk and strawberries. Um, she is from the Sweet Berry Ponies, which is a um, pony set from year 6. So generation 1 uh, pony uh, year 6 was 1987 till 1988. And all of these ponies were scented. Um, I have three of them like now um, with her. I have Poisonberry Pie and I have Cherry Treats. And I'm actually not really on the hunt for this set. Every of those ponies was like, oh yeah, I could get her because I found this one at a flea market. And then this one was in a very cheap pony lot, like um, which was like very old, a very old um, a listing. And she, as I said, she, she wasn't even, even listed as my little pony. I found her because I was searching for Cherry Mary Muffin. And like now she's also here and kind of like 
think I should leave it like this and not directly look for those ponies online. Um, but like, oh yeah, my goodness, she smells amazing. Uh, the other two don't smell anymore. Um, I don't know, she has some like some dirt over here. Let's see if I can get that off. But otherwise her hair probably will also get like the, um, uh, the factory curl back. And she's so beautiful. 87. Um, China. I know that the China and the Hong Kong version has a little bit of a different um, pink tone. But um, that's all I can tell you. And then like together with her. She is um, she is the girl that gives the toy line the name, uh, Cherry Mary Muffin. Actually she is not from the first set. Like Cherry Mary Muffin were um, a toy line of like these sized dolls um, by Mattel. Starting from I think 88 uh, until 1990. And there were three uh, waves. So the first wave um, the second wave which she is from and then there's a third wave where like they look so cool but they are really hard to find and also I think the uh, second wave ones are also uh, harder to find uh, I recognized it immediately because she has this crimped hair so the others uh, so the other uh, first version of uh, Cherry Mary Muffin had like like typical curly wavy hair and she had this crimped hair by the way this is not the original dress um, but she came with two of the uh, accessories, which are kind of hard to find. I've never seen that. This is, like you can see that, it looks like a muffin. By the way, you need to get this through here. So this thing either serves as a bracelet for the children, <laughs> but like actually, I mean, yes, also, actually, it also, like, it's shown on, on photos that children should wear, kids should wear it like this. But actually, it's meant to be the head of this little girl. So, <laughs> um, the second uh, set, uh, um, Cherry Mary Muffin dolls all had these, like, uh, uh, cake um, heads in different sizes and different um, variations. And then they also came with this tablet of, of uh, muffins and they also should be scented. Let's... Yeah. Yeah. They also smell like, um, I don't know, like just sweet. You, you cannot identify what exactly. It smells more like bubble gum. I think it smells like bubble gum. It's a different scent like this. Oh my goodness, she smells amazing. Oh my goodness smells different. Let's try to put this on her head. I mean not really super secured right now but just to, to have it there and um, I don't know it was like meant to be for me this set. Oh my goodness. And how cool is that? Okay let's get to the next package. Also contains cherry Mary muffin. Yeah, really. I was uh, like, it actually is kind of the first time I was really actively searching for for cherry Mary muffin on. Uh, it's actually from eBay Kleinanzeigen, um, and I found things, and then I couldn't, could not, not get them. I always say I'm not really collecting dolls, but there are certain doll lines which I just like the aesthetic and the theming. Like cherry Mary muffin is all about like baked sweets like muffins um, and scents and, and their dresses and I think their faces and everything looks so cute and I already have like just like one I had uh, this one that I found at a flea market um, one day like for a euro or so that's that's chocolaty um, let's put her away um, and this is uh, the main character Cherry Mary Muffin and then I found these three together and I really had to research like which is what and whatever um, like oh my goodness that's a little bit confusing 
she's also not wearing her um, official dress because this is a uh, Lady Lapidot's dress. <laughs> um, that's also why uh, I was like a little bit intrigued by this lot. Um, the first page, like the first picture, this showed those three girls. Ah, uh, yeah, Cherry Mary Muffin. And I was like, right, this, this is a Lady Lovely Love dress. I have already this dress because I also have the matching doll. It's from this one. It's the um, pretty sparkle, or oh, uh, the other way around, sparkle pretty Lady Lovely Look. So from the last year of Lady Lovely Looks with the uh, tinsel hair. Um, so I already have that dress. I don't need it. <laughs> but like the next uh, photo showed that there is actually more doll uh, dresses in there. And there's a couple of uh, other things from Lady Lovely Locks. So that's why I was like, yeah, okay, definitely want to get this lot. Uh, because there's two toy lights in there, which I'm, I'm on the hunt for right now. And um, by the way, if you not think about this dress, this is also um, Cherry Mary Muffin. So the first um, uh, doll, and you can definitely tell uh, the differences by the face. Uh, this one shows her teeth, the second uh, release, and this one she doesn't. But they both have uh, light pink shoes, that's how you also definitely un, um, can, can um, tell them apart. Because this toy line, that's something I really like, uh, doesn't come with like shoes that you can take off. It has like, they have all painted on shoes. So you can never lose the shoes. Like with Lady Lovely Locks, I don't have a doll that has shoes. <laughs> they are all lost. Um, she's actually not in such a good condition because um, her hair is pretty short. I think it's cut and definitely the bangs. She, she has bangs, so that's also cut, but I'm pretty good with like hair and all that stuff, so I think I can put some, some of the hair uh, to the front to make it a new bang, so that, that shouldn't be the big problem. And then the other two, um, I, was really, I was really happy about this one, because this one is Betty Berry. Why? Because actually my um, Cherry Mary Muffin collection started with this little comb. I had it in a pony lot. Uh, that's definitely also here on YouTube. Um, like, I don't know from when is that? From May or June? Um, and I was like, oh, what's that comb? But I found out in the video that it is Cherry Mary Muffin. And then at a flea market, I found this thing which then I also found out that is from Cherry Mary Muffin and both these blue accessories belong to this girl and she's wearing her correct dress and the cool thing is she has the apron um, which are usually like not there because like the one I have the uh, Chocolati doesn't have the apron here blank here that's missing and um, she does have the apron and also has this uh, strange like bow in her hair and if you, yeah that, that's even still uh, the original um, rubber band oh my goodness can you see that here that's still the oh here there there you there you go this, the original rubber band I hope I can uh, get this out of her hair but so I know that this was the original hairstyle of her. Um, really cute. Like she's the redhead. Like most toy lines, you know, you had like the blonde main girl and then, then like some brunettes and the redhead and there's also like um, a black doll. So I really think they are all so cute. And this is the redhead, Betty Berry. Now I have her together with this and with this. And actually her companion was also in the lot. <laughs> so this is little dip ladle. Now I have uh, this one twice, but why not? So let's check if there's also... Yeah. There's another one of these in here. Actually this is the one from uh, cherry Mary Muffin. So the cherry, which is called uh, Cherry Sweet Sugar Shaker. So that, that's the Cherry Sweet Sugar Shaker. And then I was really confused about this one. 
What is she? Like I was searching in the first set because she's from the first set, she's from the first set, so I was like, yeah, this one's probably also from the first set. At first I thought, oh, it's the brunette one because you know, from, from pictures you can really not always like tell, but I had a peek in the box already and then I was like, no, that's definitely not um, Chocolati again, it's another one. But in the first set, there's actually just one other blonde girl, which is Banancy, so banana themed, uh, with yellow dress, etc. And yellow shoes, and she certainly does not yellow has have uh, yellow shoes. She has pink shoes. Uh, and I was like confu completely confused. Who is she? Because this dress also threw me off completely. And I was like, oh wait, this dress is the dress from her. This is the original first Cherry Mary Muffin dress, so that goes to her. Um, and like with everything, also with apron. And then I found out that she, like this girl, let's bring her close to the camera, that she with her like light, light brown or light little bit reddish hair, that she actually is from the second set. She has like kind of dark a red lipstick and she's the only one that has that. That's how I recognized her then. Um, she is called Penny Peppermint. She would have actually a um, red and white striped um, dress. So like peppermint swirl, you know like a candy cane, etc. And I have no idea if I can find that dress someday, but that's actually who she is. She is Penny Peppermint from the second set, or the second wave of Cherry Mary Muffin from um, 89, yeah. The first one's from 88, the second set is from 89. So uh, also that, like nothing of her is in there, there is no, um, not her companion is not in. No, well, the second set of ones didn't didn't even have these companions, but also none of, of these. Like she's actually from the same set as this cherry Mary muffin. Um, I will like dress their clothes correctly, like afterwards. Probably not doing that now. Um, but I was kind of confused about that, but I found out. But what else do we have in here? Clothes. <laughs> Actually, that's all from not all, but most of it is from is from um, Lady Lovely Lots. I already have that dress because this is the dress from Lady Raven Waves. I found her in a thrift store and um, acquired like I found her like naked without like with a Barbie dress on or something, and I acquired that dress. Then separately, like online, just bought it, and now I have it in a lot. Anyways, I how, how should I guess that I get this in a lot? Because I already have her for half a year now or longer, even so I wouldn't didn't want to have her like naked all that long. So, so I'm still okay with buying that dress. And now I have two, so I can like uh, compare which maybe which one is in a better condition, but they all look pretty like similar. Definitely need to wash these dresses, none of these ones, because they're pretty gross. <laughs> uh, what else do we have in here? We have two uh, yellow dresses, and I definitely know that this is from Lady Lovely Locks. Uh, this is from the <laughs> redhead <laughs> from from the Lady Lovely Locks dolls from Maiden Curly Crown, and. Um, then I was like, I couldn't couldn't really see it on a photo. It was like a thing from the back, and I didn't know. I thought, well, Lady Lovely Locks also does have a fashion sets, right? So it must be from Lady Lovely Locks fashion set. And I searched through all of the fashion sets, but it's not. But it has the exact same size as the Lady Lovely Locks uh, dresses. It, it's not a Barbie dress. Like Barbie dresses are shaped differently. Like you know, Barbies have like more well, more female um, shape, and these. Um, Lady Lovely Locks um, have more of a like childish shape uh, from the body, so I have no idea because it's not Lady Lovely Locks because all of the Lady Lucky, Lo 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 Lovely Locks dresses have these flowers here somewhere at the waist or wherever. And I just learned from um, from my little pony room or the flashbackers uh, from Ariana that actually uh, this is supposed to wear the um, the pixie tails clip on. Uh, this doesn't have this, so it's definitely not an original Lady Lovely Locks dress, although it is the exact correct size 
If someone knows more about Lady Lovely looks or similar doll lines, I was also looking into Peppermint Rose because it's the same size. They also didn't have such a dress, so like, it's beautiful. So, no offense. But this is definitely for Maiden Curly Crown. And then I was like, what's, what's this? Uh-huh. This must also be Lady Lovely looks because it has these two, uh, two, two flower uh, blossom flower thingies here. It's kind of a cape, a velvety cape. And two other things, like one, I don't know, blouse or like a shirt. And something super small, but super stretchy. I'm pretty sure these are also Lady Lovely looks. This one, don't think so. I, I bring it close to the camera. Anyone knows if this is Lady Lovely Locks or another doll line? It's definitely not Barbie because Barbie would have like a, a um, tag inside. And um, same with this dress. If anyone knows something about this, tell me. And these, we will get there later on. So, a cape and another shirt. Next door. This one. Well, when I found her, the Cherry Mary Muffin uh, together with a strawberry surprise, and I was like looking, huh, that's not her original dress. I mean, it fits her okay, it's cute. But let's have a look if I find the original dress, like, maybe. It's from the second uh, wave, as I said, so not, not that often to be found. But one seller had like, I don't know, hundreds of Barbie clothes um, like listed all separately and one of them was a Cherry Mary Muffet dress and it's exactly the dress to this doll. Um, I don't know what I paid, like 5 euro or something, so not like super cheap but that was worth it to now have the matching dress to the doll. Like, mm, <laughs> of course, when I saw that I knew I had to have it, so I don't know. Let's now for now just put it here. Because I think uh, what I will do as a follow-up video with the dolls and the clothes, uh, clothes etc. will be something where I like make their hair real good, um, have them all cleaned, have them uh, all together with the correct clothes etc. So I make like a follow-up video about that. Also, I could combine that with how to treat this uh, kind of doll hair because that's co completely different to pony hair. Uh, pony hair is nylon. These uh, Mattel uh, dolls, uh, same like goes for uh, Lady Lovely Locks um, dolls. That hair is um, polyester and you have to treat it differently. You can't just um, wash it and then curl it and let it dry uh, with ponies that makes curls. With these it doesn't. You need to uh, apply heat so what I'm doing is um, a oil perm um, and I can show you that as an example of one of these dolls. I think that would be a good follow-up video so that's why I don't dress them now in their correct uh, dresses but oh my god it just smells so sweet here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, actually I think they were also kind of scented but I think they always had just these scented accessories. <laughs> Okay, let's get to the next um, package, which is this one. And what do we have in here? So let's just pull everything out. It's a bunch of little things. And here is something. <laughs> um, Oh my goodness! This is a Lady Lovely Lux doll and that is the redhead Maiden Curly Crown. This is her dress. <laughs> that fit all so well together, you know. Um, I wasn't like um, searching for like seeing this and then I was searching for this dress. No, I was like simultaneously searching for like cherry mary muffin and then I bought this and then this was in this lot and I I, I don't know it all just just matched up 
Um, she's headless. That's actually something uh, very common with the Lady Lovely Locks dolls, that their uh, like neck breaks. I can show that to you. Walk off. There is a um, actually a kind of um, of a ball joint on here, in here. But I don't know. It's it's one of the weakest points of those dolls. It breaks so easy, and then their head breaks off, and you find them very often headless. <laughs> I'm still okay with it because I'm a little bit of a crafty person so I think I can do something about this. I need to figure out what really to do, how to fix it, how to get it on again without just like gluing it on, but I'm pretty sure I can do something. Such a pretty face, such a pretty face. Um, honestly I have no idea which um, release this is like her herself because um, main curly crown is uh, one of the two companions of the main character um, which is like lovely locks um, it's her like the blonde girl then we have main curly crown the redhead and there's a brunette one um, which is main fair hair and these three were released uh, diff several different times so not only once I mean lady lovely locks herself has like three releases or so and she was released in two different sets so I don't know if this is from the first set or that she is from the Enchanted Island set. I have to uh, get closer if there is like a difference in their faces or something. But, oh my goodness, this hair looks amazing. And it, I think it even doesn't feel like this typical... Oh, this feels more like pony hair. Well, let, let's see what I can do about this. Um, so... How should I put her here? It looks a little bit strange. Just let's lay her down here. So, like this. What's that? I was really searching far and wide what that could be, but like everything is in here is Lady Lovely Locks. So, um, I came across uh, that there are uh, that there were play sets, uh, and Lady Lovely Locks had the um, uh, Castle Lovely Locks, so a castle play set. And these things are the flower pots that go on the fence of the dress, a dress of the castle. Like when you think like there is this huge playset, you open it up like this, then there are like fences here. And these are like uh, in German I would say Blumenkasten, like flower pots, flower or whatever, that you hang on the fence there. And there are these nuts here, these uh, things there you could uh, stick on flowers. And then they would hang there. <laughs> That's the most random thing to have in there. Uh, really, not that I wanted to have the lot because of that. Oh, also, I didn't want to have a lot because of this. <laughs> because it's now the third dress I have of Lady Ravenwaves. Uh, I think this one might be even in the best condition. Yeah, sure. Because this is a very fragile um, uh, fabric and this is often like ripped in the back. Like, um, yeah, you can see that. That's looking more like Halloween. <laughs> uh, but and this is not ripped. So this might be then probably my main uh, dress that I put on my doll. Then I have the other two as um, trade bait or just to have. <laughs> nice to have. Um, so that's good. And it even is like the dress in the best condition that I have for now. And flower pots and lots, lots of lots of small accessories. Let's let's okay. Well, what's that? Ah, there is a dark blue cap, and as you can see, it has this uh, flower on here, this small little flower. So it must be Lady Lovely Locks, right? Do you remember the dark blue cape we had here? Must must belong to that, right? Okay, let let's put it with this for now. Um. What's that? That's a skirt that actually goes to um, the um, doll from the second line from the Enchanted Island. Let me check how her name is. I think it's um, Golden Waves. Let me check. I don't want to talk. Yep, yeah. uh, her name is uh, Waves. Uh, and these skirts you can like pull up, and it's like a short skirt or long. 
like a mermaid tail. That's why I always say she's like the mermaid uh, from the set. I don't have her. She's a little bit more uh, thought after, a little bit more expensive, but you can find her. I also have seen her like naked, so it would make sense to get her like, and then at least already have her uh, skirt and and her hair accessory. This is also the hair accessory for for the character. She's a blonde character with long blonde um, straight hair actually, with some blue um, uh, what would you call it? Blue strands of hair. Uh, so very beautiful. This thing that looks like a shell it is as if she would have a shell in her hair. So whenever I get her, I can also get her like without uh, the clothes and already have um, stuff. Then, what's that? Most random thing ever, but it's also from the castle. It's also from the castle. There's the flower like uh, that you can st could, could stick to the bottom and then there would be like several flowers. Yes, I don't know. Don't go on here, but... <laughs> Then we have here something actually that looks more like a pony ribbon. It really does. It looks like a pony ribbon. I didn't know that that was in there. Like that's not from Lady Lovely Looks. They didn't come with ribbons. So that must be a pony ribbon. Good. Good for me. <laughs> um, what's that? Yeah. This is also something I was like, what is that? And while I was looking uh, through the um, play sets where I found like the stuff that goes to the castle, uh, for the second wave, for the Enchanted Island um, wave, there was also a um, play set called Sea Magic Salon. So it's like a hair salon. Um, and I think some of the stuff in here also goes to that hair salon as well. Like, oh my goodness, some of these super small uh, shell pigs here and then this probably also it looks like a I, I don't know, whatever a small thing that you could open let me open it Ooh. I think it's it's uh, something that you like like you have to um, like powder in there like a powder comp compact powder compact or something like this and there you go with a small um, a shell pig and there's another shell thing this thing that I don't actually know that but I think it must also go to that set maybe it's just a decoration that was stuck onto the salon uh, top or something and this thing also goes to the set because this is like the cape that you would put um, around the neck when you cut someone's hair do you know what I mean um, that's the thing that you would put on her, like on the doll. Ha <laughs> ha, creepy, but like this. <laughs> Without her. Um, that's actually what it is. That took me so long to find out. Because actually, why I was like wanted to have this lot, sure, because it was Lady Lovely Locks uh, stuff, but the real reason were all of those. Those are the pixie tails. And in one of my like last videos, I. Um, no, not, not one of my last videos, among my last um, unboxings for general vintage toys. I got my very first uh, pixie tail um, because I've never, I never find them at flea markets um, and they are pretty expensive online. Uh, the average price for one of those little hair clips that look like an animal and has like one strand of hair, the average price goes for around 5 euro. Um, and then there are lots of others like forever. 8 euro and then some of the more rare ones are around 30 euro also and I'm never willing to pay so much but when you get a lot like I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there are 8, I didn't even know that there are so many in here, there are 8 and then you get like them for a complete price with other stuff um, that makes much more sense so I think one of those now was more like two euro if you consider that there's also other stuff in there also a doll etc um, because I think I, I paid what was it 20 euro or 25 
think 25 was the price for all of this, which is a pretty, really good price. So, oh my goodness, there are so many. Um, here we've got a mouse. This is a bird. This is another bird. And yeah, this is even one that has like uh, two other strands that are these super curly ones. I don't know if I can restore them, but they are, they have like one that is more a little bit straight and two strands of hair that are super curly. The other ones are more like, like wavy curly. They are more thought after. Um, definitely. And of course, these pixie tails go to the dolls. You could clip them, as I said, to the clothes or to the hair. Or you could clip them like in your hair. Um, a mouse, two birds, one rabbit, another rabbit, and another bird. Oh, and another mouse, like, and another rabbit. So, in general, I can definitely say the rabbits go to a lady lovely looks herself most often, or to a silky mane, which is the horse. For this girl. Yeah, I'm prepared. I put everything here <laughs> to show it to you. Um, because, like, because Silky Mane, I think, came with uh, six of those um, that has uh, like the rabbits, the rabbit shape, and Lady Lavinox herself. Then made Curly Crown, like this girl. She always came with um, the birds in the first set, and Silky Pup, uh, the dog. Also came with the birds, I think three of the birds in different colors. Um, and I don't know the mouse I'm, and the mice, I'm not sure. Maybe with the prints or with different sets of uh, the um, like outfits and everything also always had one. Again, I will do that in a follow-up video where I like put them all onto the correct thing, etc. And some of them I might not even be able to find out. But let's show them at least a little bit in detail here. So we've got a bunny, another bunny, this is the mouse, this is one of the birds. Another mouse, another bird, and another bird, one would be super curly, and another rabbit. Oh, this one still has really good hair. And this rabbit also, you can see the difference, is more a matte, whereas this is a really shiny pearlized one. Some of the matte ones are more the European ones, whereas then their counterpart in, in, in America also had also this one probably then in um, a more pearlized uh, version. <laughs> ah. What else is in here? A purple shoe. I was hoping that there are two in there, but it seems it's really just one because you know on photos you can never really see what's in there because, because maybe it was like stuck under the dress on the photo or so. Um, but the purple shoe most probably belongs to Lady uh, Raven Waves. Oh, not Ray Lady. Um, Duchess Ra uh, Raven Waves. And now she at least has won her first shoes back. If someone has one shoe to give me <laughs> for her, no, probably I will find the shoe uh, at some point. It might also not be hers because, you know, some fashion sets came with shoes and maybe one of them was purple. And then we have one of the combs. These are the typical first uh, released Lady Lovely Loves combs. Um, also with the rabbit here, or bunny, rabbit, bunny, whatever. And to my knowledge, the pink ones came with the first um, Lady Lovely Locks. So, and it's matte and not pearly, so Europe release. Ooh. And it didn't stop there. Because... There is another lot of Lady Lovely Lock stuff that I got. Ooh. Okay, that's it. 
that was actually the first one that I um, bought whenever I just had one um, pixie tail because there were how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six pixie tails in there for 20 euro. Um, and with some uh, clothes and two combs. So I thought that was also a good, and then I found the other lots which were maybe even better. But, um, it's like, I didn't have, at least, I just had one, and now I have like so many. Okay, two more, two more birdies. Another rabbit. Oh, a very, very light rabbit. That's this is another one here. This is not a mouse. This is one of the chipmunks. So, I think the first chipmunk that I have. It's not a mouse. With smaller ears. Another bird. And another bird. And sometimes they also came with different hair. Like it's like this strand of hair, for example, is like yellow and a little bit of like coral, I would say. And they are all our yellow ones that have like yellow and white and yellow and dark yellow. And <laughs> that's why there's so many variations of the, of the um, pixie tails. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. You see there's also like two different versions. Light and a little bit more color intense. And one that's more blue. And what else is in here? Here's an outfit. Um, one that I found out that is really uh, from a fashion set, like an outfit set that came that did not come with a doll directly. But what I was really interested in were these shoes. This is a set of shoes at least. And now my lady lovely locks herself, she can at least have shoes. Um, my, the, the, these are probably the ones that uh, came with the fashion set. This is the riding outfit. Um, but still, I will give my Lady Lovely Locks shoes, finally. Um, also, the set is not complete because it just now consists of the top. There you can see again those um, flowers. Uh, with the cap. Oh, that's great. Like the rubber is still really uh, stretchy. Most often like old rubber gets like all crusty and you can't even stretch it anymore. This one you can definitely stretch. That's a cool outfit. And actually it came with a like skirt or trousers. It's like, it looks like a skirt, but actually trousers, really wide trousers for riding. Um, they are not in here. Um, and I think the shoes were included as well. And one um, pixie tail, actually. I think one of the bunnies. I think this this one here, the most, the one that's the most color intense. Because I think the light one, not probably this one, was included with this riding set. And then we have this one. Honestly, I don't know what this, where this goes to. Obviously, it's Lady Lovely Locks because it's the flower here. But I couldn't find out, like, it's not from this riding set. Like, let's at least get it close to the camera. So it's not from this riding set. It's light pink here. Um, at least I couldn't find out that something like this is uh, involved in there. Would also not make sense because this one already has two of the flowers at the waist here. Oh, that's cool. They are actually like, pointy here. Um, Something like this came definitely with a dog, so for now I will put it as a, as a dog wrist or a dog, like what is it called, what you put around the neck of the dog. But actually the one with the dog had like a light, light pink um, ribbon. So, I, I, tell me to what this, like, does this go? Does this go to Slicky Mane? Um, but for now I will put it around the neck of the dog, so. Ah yeah, and two pumps combs as well. Also two light pink combs of the same style. And that also kind of confuses me. Like I could just find out that the first Lady Lovely Locks was released 
with this style of comb in a light pink color. But now I have three here and all of them are different. Literally all of them are different. Uh, the one in the middle is pearlized. Can you see that? Uh, that definitely is to, belongs to the first Lady Lovely Locks. Um, more or less probably like the American release, but as we are in Europe, I don't know, maybe it was also released in Europe with this one. Then we have one that is about the same shade, but not really, a little bit more intense. And that really pearlized, more just like matte, but not completely matte. A little bit, I don't know, a little bit translucent, also not really, but... And then we have this one. This is completely matte. And the, the pink tone is also darker, more like dusty pink. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe every factory uh, batch like was, was different for, for these combs. And they actually all belong to the same doll. <laughs> I'm not that good with Lady Lovely Dogs. I'm still confused about all of those differences of the same thing. Um, I know with ponies it's also sometimes that this pony in Europe was released with this brush and in America with this comb but there are variations that, I don't know, the hair is like this and like this but I can figure it out, it makes sense, I can find out about this online. With Lady Lovely Looks, not so much. Um, I have some good pages like online where I can like find all of this, also like every pixie tail listed and then I can, but, but still. <laughs> Still some things are not on there and it for example just shows one pink comb. What about the other shades of pink? Two to go. This one is like the biggest here but it doesn't mean that the biggest thing is in there. Um, it's just I think a lot of um, stuffing. So we have something here. Something here something here and I think the rest is just yeah. filling material. I'm, I'm pretty happy that uh, packages from Germany people people don't use those those uh, floofies or those, those wiggly worms and all that stuff that would go all about like the floor. I'm pretty okay with this filling material or with just like paper or stuff like that. Um, so where do I start? This actually comes from a seller which I already, already like purchased things from before. Um, like do you remember before Christmas I purchased like um, my uh, childhood pony puzzle and um, the uh, uh, Mary Treats the Christmas pony and I already had like a long conversation with this uh, seller on, um, on eBay Kleinanzeigen because she was telling me, oh wait, I have, I have more. I did not, I don't, I didn't have time to list it all. And and she just sent me one photo with all the stuff, lots of ponies, lots of accessories. And I was like, I'm interested in that, 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 and that. And her prices were not what I was thinking of. So I was, I wasn't, uh, I was just then buying in the end the puzzle and um, one pony like Mary treats. Um, and the other stuff was like at my price range, etc. And then I found. Um, that I was actually interested in things from the same seller and uh, now she had listed more and she had also listed Lady Laughing Lock stuff because this is something that goes to Lady Laughing Lock. What's that? Is that a butterfly? Is that also a cape? No, it's a saddle. Actually that's, oh no, actually that's the reason why I uh, took Silky Mane out. Because it's the saddle that goes to Silky Mane. Uh, she had this listed like separately, that was not a lot. So, um, so um, her prices were still not the very best, but I really wanted to have the saddle for her. Um, when I found her at a flea market, she, she, she came without a saddle at all. And the saddle actually is, uh, can you see those flower shapes here? All of those uh, spaces are for um, pixie tails. Let's just put one on. Like this. And this is how also why uh, she came with six uh, different um, like rabbit bunny 
Um, pixie tails, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can like really display it like this. I can really display it uh, with all the pixie tails at her saddle. And uh, yeah, I was okay then with paying a little bit more um, for like, for example, just the saddle. Um, I don't know, should I tell you what I paid for the saddle? I paid 7 euro for the saddle. Just for this thing, this, this clothes. I've never seen it before. Sometimes I see the horse with the saddle sold, and that she's pretty expensive. Um, so I was figuring, okay, just buy it. Like, it's not the best uh, deal in the world, but... But when I saw that, I saw that she had so many other things listed which I was interested in. And then I found also out that this was the same seller that I, I had uh, like a conversation going on before. Um, so this, the rest is all my little pony. And one other Lady Lovely Locks thing. Ta-da! It's the Prince. This is Prince Strongheart. And she had him on for um, 10 euros. Uh, which I think is a good price, considering that he has most of his clothes. She has his shoes, his uh, trousers, the belt, and the top. And the only thing that he is missing is his cape and his hat. Does it ring a bell? The cape? It's like, it was it's really funny how I love Frankenstein him together of like three different Lady Lovely Locks, um, lots you could say. Um, the only thing that's bothering me actually about him is that um, it, she didn't say that in the description and just before I bought it she told me, oh well I actually found out that his head is just glued on. Probably that's why she was already selling him for like just 10 euro. Um, and I was like, okay, if you take off a couple more euros, then I still get him. So I get him even, got him even a little bit cheaper. And then afterwards, this was the first thing of, of these things, I found the other options. And one of them was the cape and, and the other one was the head. So actually pretty cool. And I don't know, I also one of the other tops not this white one but the other one is also from him so I have this now twice ah doesn't matter where it is one of the other tops that I already showed you is also from him and his head is really glued on yeah I have no idea if I can do something about this because I would like now he really looks like he doesn't have a doesn't have a neck <laughs> um Okay, yeah, I can I can get this glued thing off. I get this even his even his shirt is glued on. What did she do? Yeah. Why? Why did you do that? Yeah, I won't do that now. But uh, even his shirt is glued on there. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But um. When I have found out if I can do something about this, then I will also take off his hat and try to do the same thing. For now, then he just gets his, um, his cape, etc. There's actually something missing. I think like one like ribbon or stuff like that would be in there. It's easy peasy, I can attach another ribbon. Um, but for now, he is complete because his comp as well. He sold it also together, he, she, with his comp. So, pretty good deal, I think. Uh, he also is pretty dirty. Let's at least get him close to the camera. Pretty dirty, but I think I can restore that. And his back head also looks pretty, <laughs> not rooted like very well, but then he gets his head on and that's okay. And that's his comp. And this one again is the pearlized one. So I'm like majorly confused about this, about these differences in the comps, like matte and dark and light and pearlized. <laughs> but this is definitely his. So there you go, Prince. 
the only male uh, character in the Lady Lovely Loves line. <sighs> and, and now for the rest is pony stuff. So I think I don't want to get in detail about all of those combs and brushes because the most in here are combs and brushes. One other thing that's actually one of the bags um, that belongs to the school time ponies. Yay! Now my music time can also have a bag and I have to say all of those accessories I think she listed them before for more and she already had reduced the prices because when I first talked to her like her prices weren't like what I was willing to pay but every single accessory was like one euro which is you could still say like one euro for such a small combo brush or whatever but like online like combs and brushes for ponies actually don't even find them for one euro it's more like most people want um, two euro three euro five euro etc for them and here are also some in there that are a little bit more expensive um, normally and excessive, especially like something like this the first um, school bag that I bought I bought it for five euro I knew that, that that wasn't a good deal but I wanted to have one and now I have a second one um, lots of different brushes but I think I make a follow-up video where I um, tell you which ponies they go to I probably don't have all of them so to not uh, make the video even longer just keep it like this it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 combs I think and another pony Another one of the school time ponies. This is painting time. And ta-da! She also comes with her school bag. And she also comes with her comp. Like I can already tell you this is the correct comp, the ABC comp. Um, and she was sold like this. She, the bag, and her comp together for 8 euro. Which is a very good price. Considering that uh, the pony itself sometimes goes for like 10, 12, 15. Or if people say that oh, this is a Euro exclusive set, I should um, uh, sell it for 30 Euro or something. Those people also exist. Um, and I was like, actually why? This is like, it never does never want her. Like those are pretty common ponies. I don't have her yet. And then I saw, well, she has some stuff on her. She has some markings on her here, here, and had her forehead. But it's so subtle, like, I didn't even see that, and also the hair is pretty rough. Um, but, like, together with the school bag and the comb, like, then I was like, because I often passed her up because I was like, well, she's so common, she, I will find her every day, like, always, even maybe at a flea market. <laughs> whenever they are open again um, but this was a deal I couldn't pass up and I thought most people most people are not willing to get ponies that are in a little bit uh, not so good condition like do you see someone made a square on there and also on the other side and there's like a star at her forehead but it's, it's not that visible to be honest and she comes with all her accessories even with a ribbon that's not pony you sure that's not pony something like this is not from pony um but it's cute and so i pulled the trigger and just bought it <laughs> because you know so many other things from her the prints all of those combs and brushes saddle so yeah and i'm really not a picky collector like really not a picky collector um, it's not always that I just think okay I can restore it it's even that I think well even if I have her in a not so good condition there are like things that I can't get off well whatsoever and then that's what it is and they are still very cute it's still a very cute cute pony like she smells Uh, this is not a scented pony line, by the way. Um, these school time ponies were a set of four ponies. I have now three of them, like I showed you, like um, music time, and then there's also sports time. And 
painting time. And the last one is playtime. Like, it has a, like a rope here, like for like jumping with a rope. Um, a Euro exclusive set uh, came with these uh, school bags. And there was also a Europe exclusive like school play set, not directly together with them, but pretty much like works very well together. Um, here, um, I think they're from 1990 to 91. Year 9 of uh, Generation 1 My Little Pony. It's definitely my uh, time, like I had two of them as a childhood ponies. The other ones didn't have that one, but this is pretty much actually my, my, my favorite aesthetic. A soft pink pony with yellow blonde hair. That's, that's really like my favorite aesthetic. Um, and here in Europe, they're very common. You find them all the time and for still for good prices. <sighs> Last package, um, which contains something completely different. Better Pony, nothing from Lady Lovely Locks and nothing from um, Cherry Mary Muffin. That's why I kept it as the last one to not completely confuse you. I try to make it a little bit like, okay, first this toy line and then this. And this is something pretty special because it is the very first um, like boxed, still like in box um, toy that I uh, got myself. I'm really a out of box collector. Like I don't like to have toys still in the box or especially not on cart. It's like, oh my goodness, the toy isn't even getting like fresh air. Can it even breathe? I mean, toys don't breathe. But I, I have pretty much this Toy Story thing in my head that, that toys want to live, they want to want to be played with. And, and I always think that it's such a like shame when, when, when those um, toys are still in the box but this one it is not it, it is opened you know um, and just someone kept the box and it's not a really big box because big boxes take up a lot of space it is vintage Littlest Pet Shop or as you can see or maybe read in German Kleine Tierwelt and this one is pretty special to me because it is one of my childhood ones. The, um, what are they called in German? Neugierige Kätzchen, or as they were called in English, um, cutesy kittens with um, kitty playhouse. <sighs> okay, so I must have also gotten this in this box. I cannot remember the box because I'm pretty sure we threw away the boxes. And um, when I saw this on eBay Kleinanzeigen, because I was, like, as I said, I sometimes I search for other toy lines. I'm not really the biggest uh, Little Pet Shop, um, vintage Little Pet Shop um, collector. I have several of them. Um, I just um, want to show them to you how they look. For example, at flea markets I found, like, different ponies. This is also one of my childhood ones from the Arabian Prancers or um, some other horses. So they are small animals. But not super cutesy, they still look pretty realistic. Um, the toy line is uh, from, I think, I think it started in 1992 and lasted until 1996, so definitely like my childhood. Um, it's from Kenner. Um, Kenner, you know, the toy uh, company that, for example, produced uh, the first vintage Star Wars or uh, several other cool things. I think during that time it, they were already sold, um, not sold, they were already bought by Hasbro, but they were still producing things under the name of Kenner. Um, and nowadays, Little S Pet Shop, or as I usually say, LPS, that's the ones that I find like on flea markets all the time. All the time. This is what they look nowadays. Or not even nowadays, because with Little S Pet Shop, it's also like with ponies, they come in different like generations. Like this is generation one vintage. And then there's like generation two, that's also a very good one. They all have these, I don't know if this one is like, I don't know which ones exactly. They all come with these bobble heads. They are very much smaller and have bigger eyes and are much more stylized, cute sized I don't know what you would call that. Um, <laughs> 
and of course they are nowadays by Hasbro but this is one of the original ones let's get it out of the package that's so cool to have a package to see at the back which other sets were available because I can honestly just remember two sets that I had I remember like this set and then um, the, the Arabian Prancers, the two, two ponies. This really I remember so vividly. I think I might have also have had a set with um, a dog, but like this kitty set, I remember like, I exactly know how it felt. It's crazy to have it now in my hands again. So as you can see, it's, it's a, um, like the bottom thingy here has like a cat's uh, toilet. Um, then we have here a water and, and uh, like a feeding bucket to put somewhere. This is like a cat, oh my goodness, a stretch a tree. And here's a small mouse hanging. And the two kitties are like this one. Here are two packs and there are two holes. So you can put this kitty on here. And when you would press the tail, there, uh, the cat's like arms uh, would move as if she would be scratching on this scratch uh, tree. I don't know what you would call that in English. And then Lilla's Pet Shop often had uh, features that ha have, have something to do with um, like magnets. And if I'm correct, uh, it's not that good anymore, but still a little bit. Because this mouse has a magnet and the cat's mouth has a magnet and then it would play with the mouse like oh, yeah. Ta -da. and I definitely was playing with it I remember that and those colors look at the oh, goodness it's not really easy to display here in front of the camera look at those colors like teal purple and pink that's the most used like 90s early 90s colors that that that, that ever was like um, can it get more early 90s and let's have a look at the box oh okay it says it was uh, sold at Woolworth back in the day so that's like a, a department store um, for 16.95 um, D-Mark, Deutsche Mark. So before we had Euro, we had a Deutsche Mark. Um, so that would be, nah, you can't really say that because the Euro has like really changed everything. You can't say that Deutsche Mark is split in like in, in half, that would be the Euro price. You, uh, you could even actually more say that 16 Deutsche Mark is like 16 euros nowadays. But it's cool. So I at least know how much this thing has like, cost. Costed. Has costed. Co cost. Um, and at the back, there are all the different sets. Let's just give it, get close to the camera. Again, here's the front. This is the top where it says how much money it was. The other way around, the money. But one of the sides. I think the other side is the same. And at the back, there you have all the different sets. I think I might have had something like this um, puppy. Where is it actually? Here, this one. Because this, this box, something that sparks some some memory. I don't remember if I had this Dalmatian. That's really cool. To have this box, and it's not a big box, you know, when you have like big boxes and I'm like, where should I put it? That's also why I'm not really collecting um, play sets, for example, for ponies and stuff. They're just too big and I'm just a small apartment. And it really is crowded in here. Um, but this I was okay because it's my childhood one. And that was the last box. My goodness, this is such a long video already again. I'm so sorry, but it's as I thought, there's so many little things and, and 
little bits and bobs and I didn't even explain all those brushes to you and, and this and, and this and everything. I hope you still had fun um, and if you want to see like my next unboxing which will be really just vintage my little ponies uh, then return to my channel maybe even subscribe and um, like the video if you if you like me rambling about toys vintage toys that I had as a child or not because honestly cherry Mary muffin uh, lady lovely locks things that I didn't have I'm born 88 so this was like kind of before my time um, and I don't know I did not have them didn't know that but I had ponies and I had my identity of it with this patch up and maybe if that sparked also some memory for you I know you Michi if you are watching you had lots of minor clarity here that uh, let us patch up as a child. I know that you told me about that. So was this a set that you already also had? Would be interested. Um, yeah, tell me what was your favorite thing and um, see you soon. May the force be with you. Bye. table smells like strawberry or cherry or cotton candy. <laughs>